Aquarius, 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 what's popping? It's going down. It's going down the life of an Aquarian between the 16th and the 31st of October. Hmm. Hmm. Y'all made y'all decision? Hmm. Are y'all in observation mode? Watch you. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Terror Channel. If this is your first time you're on my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Look out. I make us a little. I make us a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Uh, to all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family. We a little dysfunctional. We don't fuss. We don't fight. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? But we do love. We enlighten. We grow. We evolve. We share. Y'all, positive shit only. All right? This is not a personal. It's a general. For those of you who would like a personal reading, that information can be found below and i do have a special going on right now 15 dollars off for the 30 45 and 60 minute section uh, section section session <laughs> between the 10th and the 15th of october so definitely get your special in also um y'all showed out this little uh first half of october y'all showed y'all showed y'all y'all showed y'all ace y'all aces okay so because of that Thank you, my baby. Thank you for all of the views, the likes, the shares, the subscribes. Y'all, family, it's been a journey, and we're going to keep pushing. Because you know why? Do you want to know why? Because we badass. That's why. That's why God did not wake you up to be mediocre. He woke you up to win. Win, 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 win. All right? So let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Aquarius? This will be for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Let's get it. So the first message comes from my Crystal Angels Oracle Cards deck by Doreen Virtue. The card that you guys got was Appetite, Progress, Not Perfection. I feel like a lot of y'all beating y'all selves up, especially when it comes to your spiritual abilities. I feel like they're conflicting right now during, they're conflicting with your religious views. And it's up to you to make a choice. What do you believe in? What is your truth? Okay, let's get it. Progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus on how far you've come and all that you've learned. Wisdom, wisdom, hurdles, heartbreak, bring wisdom. This card is a sign that you may be holding perfectionist judgments about yourself that are blocking you. Perhaps there's a fear that if you or your work isn't perfect, you won't receive what you need. God and your guardian angels are reassuring you that you're spiritually perfect because you were made in God's image and likeness. You didn't need to be, you don't need to be humanely perfect. In fact, nobody is perfect in the human sense. Everyone is a work in progress. Your guardian angels want you to focus upon the progress that you've made and acknowledge your successes. Please don't be so hard on yourself and stop judging yourself. You are lovable inside and out. If anyone is criticizing you, especially abusively, get away from them. You deserve to be with people who are supportive, kind, and encouraging. So I did feel that even when I was meditating on your energy, a lot of y'all going to be cutting people off and shifting your energy, shifting the people who you be around. If you cannot offer me beauty into my life, if you can't offer me support, like, I'm sorry, <laughs> I kind of expect for my friends to support me, not tear me down, so your ass got to be out, okay, straight like that, don't feel bad for putting somebody out your life who didn't know how to appreciate you when they were in your life, keep them, I'm sorry, don't be sorry, do better, goodness, spirit, give me the messages for Aquarius between the 16th and the 30th of October, 31st of October, please, yes, alignment things are coming into alignment for you a lot of you guys will be working on your chakras during this time your third eye is going to be pouring you information some of you guys are finding out that your healers with the hands do not be afraid of your ability baby hone it hone it you're needing to be outside more during this time spirit is trying to get you guys outside get your body active and it's, it's, it's something about alignment your throat chakra as well during this time a lot of you all need to speak your mind Speak your truths, okay? Don't sit there and hold information and hold auras and hold negative vibes and be around people in order to manipulate situations how you want them to go. Don't say it ain't happening, Aquarius, because I see it right here. I see it in the building. Hard, sorry, y'all. My phone made a noise. I say, oh, let me catch myself right now and <laughs> get my shit together. I do see a lot of you guys 
are embracing. Some of you guys during this time will be coming to terms with your shadow self. And you're needing to in order for you to walk this light path, to walk this path of enlightenment that you're wanting to come forward into. Uh, you're needing to in order to hone your spiritual abilities and not use them for manipulative reasons. And it, this could also be uh, within your energy. Some of you all are definitely going into a soulmate relationship, possibly with some water or whatnot. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys will be grounding yourself during the time you will find yourself in nature. If you work, for those of you who are working on um, your chakras or working on aligning your chakras, there's a big focus on your root chakra as well as the throat chakra. For some of you all, it is your heart chakra because it's having your heart chakra is trying to expand but some of you all are holding on to that hurt you're holding on to situations trying to bring harmony to them with people who ain't work withable hell yeah i made up a word work withable so spirit is calling you to ground yourself in order to heal your ground yourself balance yourself you're trying to balance things out and you're trying to hold on and carry the responsibility baby and a lot of that have to do with you blocking you let god do god's job do not try to work on situations, people, baby. You can't save everybody. You can't fix everything, especially if you take it away from your own self-care in order to do so. Because some of y'all, your body is saying, I'm tired. I'm motherfucking tired. And you just won't stop because you have you are addicted to people pleasing. Some of y'all are addicted to people pleasing and you're needing to come to terms with that and be more observative during this time in aligning yourself, aligning yourself with the things that make you happy, aligning yourself and getting away from toxic situations, aligning yourself, okay, and being in the right places at the right times, not to manipulate situations because for some of y'all, you psychic and you know where you need to be, but for the cause of better, harmony, harmony within the self. A lot of y'all are a little anxious, and I felt the feeling of anxiety, not like it was the last the, the last video I did a couple, couple of days back. But today, energy has shifted, and I got to say, going toward the middle of the month, a lot of you guys are going to be coming into harmony with the fact that you overgive. You're an overgiver. Some of y'all are undercover overlovers. And it's unhealthy because you're you you're really projecting to the person that's receiving that that they ain't gotta really do shit. Well, if I shit, if I just sit back, it's gonna get done. Why would I buy the cow if you're continuously giving me the milk for free? Think about that. Some of y'all gotta get stiff. A lot of you guys during this time will be healing the mind, the body, the spirit. Okay, and understanding some of y'all are coming to terms that you got receiving issues. If somebody try to give you something, don't be hollering, oh no, it's all right. God works through people. God works through it's it's an entity. He works through people, places, and things. Be receiving because you can't manifest wealth if you're not going to be willing to receive the small things. You can't manifest love if you're going to be defensive or for that matter, you're going to live in a place in the past. Those vibrations contradict one another. You can't do that. You can't do that. Can't, you just can't do it. Okay. All right. So I do see y'all. A lot of you guys are working on it. I'm proud of y'all babies. My babies. Let's get it. Four Aquarius. During this time, I did lay out four generals with just generally what I saw. Some of you guys are just seeing, some of you guys are using your, your wisdom in a situation during this time. Some of y'all could be cutting off an air sign. Some of you guys are just cutting off any, some of you guys are cutting off the idea or cutting off the intention of holding on to people who are going to continuously put you in third party energy. Some of you all are definitely dealing with a Pisces and some of you all are definitely dealing with a Sagittarian. I feel like for some of you all, you have a Pisces or a Sagittarian in your energy. And this person keeps you in third-party energy. However, I feel like for some of y'all, this person is holding on to something that they feel, they, they assume that you did in the past. And some of y'all are just kind of seeing y'all way through it. Some of y'all are really just seeing, you trying to emotionally fuck me to make me hold on to this shit. No, I ain't with the shit. So you moving on. Yeah, some of you all, 
some of you all have a fear of being by yourself. So this could be a water sign in your energy, okay? I feel like some of y'all have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio in your energy. This person tries to hold on to you not because y'all, they love for some of y'all, they do love you. However, they also have a fear of being by themselves. They have abandonment issues or rejection issues, so they hold on to you even though they keep you in this toxic shit. For some of y'all, you better watch your money around this person. Because I feel like if some of y'all left a Cancer Pisces and a Scorpio, a Scorpio in the past, and this person was trying to hold on to you during this time, be careful with sexual encounters with that person, especially if they made the cute references like, you know, you're going to be mine. Oh, 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 you're going to be my baby mama. They say look slick ass shit like that. Watch that because this person will try to hold on to you by any means necessary. And the fact that I'm seeing this rat on this card, this straight up rat, okay? There are things under the sun that some of you guys are going to find out that you're gonna it's going to easily help you make a decision. Some of y'all have to make a decision between a Capricorn towards Virgo a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. For some of y'all, it's involving a Sagittarius as well. Yeah. Some of you all, some of you all could be finding out some very disturbing information if you're married to a Libra. And some of you all have been wanting to move forward, but I feel like you haven't been able to make that decision. For some of y'all, it's because you don't want to be by yourself. There's a fear of being by yourself because I'm talking to someone, even if it's not a Libra, I'm talking to someone who this person is all you know. Some of y'all have to choose between um, a Virgo and a Sagittarius, or this is being done to you. Okay, somebody's making a choice, but in the midst of them being indecisive, they want to hold on to you. And they're keeping you feeling like you're just in this web. You're entangled. Untangle yourself, Aquarius, okay? For some of you, you're definitely untangling yourself. For some of you, you, you're in hermit mode. For some of you, you're analyzing the situation. You'll be analyzing the situation having to do with an Aries. I feel like this person wants to move forward. They want to start over with you. However, they're not willing to fix the problem. And so you're moving forward and you're feeling empowered in doing so because you're looking good, smelling nice, money looking good, shit. Everything is looking real fine and dandy. For some of you all, you're being very defensive towards or you could possibly have a fire sign in your energy, okay, that you're being very defensive towards this person or this person is being defensive towards you, possibly due to a family situation that happened before you. Uh, especially if it involves the earth sign Capricorn Taurus Virgo I feel like you're not you feel like you're not getting all the clarity in which you need and for some of you you're absolutely right I feel like some of y'all have an earth sign in y'all energy that is married I feel like this person has been defensive towards you simply because this person could have possibly they could be thinking about reconciling with their ex okay especially if the ex is a Capricorn Taurus Virgo or this person could be a Leo. For some of you all, you're thinking about reconciling with the Leo during this time. And I feel like it's taking a lot of courage to make this offer towards this Leo. For some of y'all, it's the Leo that's coming back for your ass. But yeah, they're definitely going to be telling some truths. And I feel like if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, especially another Aquarius, you're going to be finding out some truths that's going to have to, it's going to make you make a decision. Some of y'all are going to be getting engaged during this time. Congratulations if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hope I didn't ruin the surprise. But somebody put, want to put a ring on it. Congratulations. Yeah. Some of you all are needing to make a judgment. And you're going to get the truth in order for you to do so. And for some of you, you're going to choose to heal. You're going to choose to quit. Look out. Look out, Jack. I quit. I don't want to do this shit no more. It's no fun no more. I'm done. As soon as you trust spirit and let that shit go, let that hurt go, then boom. Here comes your blessing, okay? But let me see. I was going to clarify, but I think I don't. Everything is really kind of straight, cut and dry. Yeah. For some of you all, you have a new beginning going forward with the Leo. For some of you all, it's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, it's fire. But it's strong, strong, strong water in here. Strong, strong Leo. This person, if you're dealing with a water sign, this person could be younger than you. I feel like this person can be a bit frustrating because it's like your love seems childish, sometimes too childish. And it makes you feel like 
okay, what the fuck is we going to do? But Aquarius, this person is only giving you what you're giving them. They want you, <laughs> spirit wants you to bring balance to yourself. For some of you, you actually just met your soulmate. For some of you, you're dealing with a twin flame, okay? But they're not wanting you to move forward with that hurt. Let that hurt go and move forward in the upright way. Take everything that you've experienced, everything that you've learned, and be grateful for the experience because going forward into your blessings, now you know how to maneuver around the snakes, baby. You know how to recognize game, recognize game. You know how to recognize when a motherfucker's trying to play you, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be feeling totally betrayed by someone with fire and air possibly in their chart some of you all are trying to hold on some of you all are kind of indecisive on if you want to hold on to a pisces or not this person definitely could be trying to hold on to you or this person could try to you could be dealing with a sagittarius that has to choose between you and the virgo or you and the Pisces, Aquarius, this can also be your energy as well. But somebody definitely, Aquarius, y'all definitely have a decision to make. And for some of you all, it's reconciliation of a family. For some of you all, um, this could be in the energy, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. What this person is not telling you is that they could be talking to their ex, especially if they have children with this person. Okay, I feel like if you're dealing with a Virgo, Behind the scenes, what you don't know, especially if you were married to this person, is that things are becoming clear. Justice works in your favor. So if you're doing, dealing with a Virgo having to do with a court situation, baby, it's upright. It's going to work in your favor. If you all are married to someone, there is going to be some secrets that come and hit the forefront. And she's going to shake up. There needs, there, there needs to be tower moments. And with this retrograde in Scorpio, it's about past life. Okay, past life karma, hereditary cycles, generational cycles. So shit is going to hit the fan whether people want it to or not. And for some of us, it's well needed because it is the actual tearing down of the of the rocky foundation to move forward to a place of stabilizing stability. You get what I'm saying? And it's ultimately somebody's going to get left behind. I am seeing that In Aquarius. Some of y'all is leaving water signs behind and going towards fire. Some of you all are doing going towards fire, leaving water and earth behind. Air energy, Cap, um, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, air energy like yourself. During this time, you're not going to trust them, and you're not trusting them because, yes, there is some shit that you need to know. There's some shit that's going to come forward about possibly a Sagittarius and a Pisces, okay? There is some shit that's going to come forward. Okay, some of y'all are getting engaged to Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And if you have a partner that's been going through some um, financial troubles or you, especially if you're dealing with an Earth sign, worry not, my darling. Everything is going to come full circle in a very blessed way. And guess what? That's on me, baby. Y'all better keep me posted because this is some good shit. A lot of y'all just made the decision to put that hurt down. Fuck it. I'm not going to live in a place of this sad shit. I'm going to move forward. And guess what? A lot of y'all going to find out that it ain't shit to be scared of, especially when you win it. What you scared for? Look. Look here. A lot of y'all, especially if you have a child with a fire sign, a lot of you all are scared to go into something new, possibly because someone in the past put you in third party situations. But you got to be optimistic, especially when you're waiting around for love and you're trying to manifest it. How the hell are you going to get love if, you, if, if, if you're afraid of it? Or how the hell are you going to meet new people if you stay in the house all the time? What the hell are they supposed to do, Aquarius? Break in your shit? I mean, come on now. You got to work with the universe. But first and foremost, choose your respect, choose your integrity. Use your wisdom and make make the right decisions, okay? Definitely trust what you feel and trust what you felt the first time. Spirit is showing a lot of you all through dreams, premonition, as well as your psychic abilities. Some of you all are tarot card readers. A lot of you are seeing certain things and you don't want to see it. But Spirit is letting you know, I'm finna shake them foundations. But fear not, baby, because I'm only shaking them for you to build them back, bounce back quicker. Minor comeback, my minor setbacks for major comebacks. Remember that. I love y'all. This is what I have for y'all between the 16th and the 31st of October. If it resonates, let me know. Y'all, please like, share, and comment like you always do. I appreciate it in advance. Much love, much light, many blessings. Bam.
Namaste. Let's get it. Love y'all, babies. <laughs>